Colors are all around us. Everywhere you go, there's color, right? We see color everywhere we go. Every time we walk out the street, every time we wake up, everywhere we see color. We have color televisions, of course. We have color screens on our monitors. Everything is color. Without color, we think, hey, you know what? Things are kind of dull and boring. But you know what? There are people that are color blind. And today we're going to just have a little quick lesson about what that actually means to be color blind. So here's the lesson. Okay, so what exactly is being colorblind? Well, here you go. Colorblindness is the inability or decreased ability to see color or perceive color differences under lighting conditions when color vision is not normally impaired. It's not actually true that someone is colorblind because there is no actual blindness. There is, however, a fault in the development of either or both sets of retinal cones that perceive color in light and transmit that information to the optic nerve. The gene that causes color blindness is carried on the X chromosome, making the handicap more common among men who have just one X chromosome than among women who have two, so must inherit the gene from both parents. The symptoms of color blindness can also be produced by physical or chemical damage to the eye, optic nerve, or the brain. These conditions are not true color blindness, rather, they represent conditions of limited actual blindness. Color blindness is usually classed as a mild disability, but there are situations where colorblind individuals can have an advantage over those with normal color vision. Some studies conclude that colorblind individuals are better at penetrating certain color camouflages. This may be an evolutionary explanation for the surprisingly high frequency of congenital red green colorblindness. I thought that was interesting. I didn't realize that being colorblind meant that. You just couldn't see certain colors. They, you know, it's kind of confusing when they say you're colorblind. Some people think that they can't see any color at all, when in fact that's not really true. Anyway, so stick around. Here's proper pronunciation. Okay, so in this week's proper pronunciation, as other weeks as well, we're going to do the first three sentences from the story. So here's the first one again. Color blindness is the inability or decreased ability to see color or perceive color differences under lighting conditions when color vision is not normally impaired. A little bit faster. Color blindness is the inability or decreased ability to see color or perceive color differences under lighting conditions when color vision is not normally impaired. Second sentence. All these negatives in the second sentence, I want you to pay attention to how they're stressed, okay? It's not actually true that someone is colorblind because there's no actual blindness. Right? You heard on the not and no. It's not actually true that someone is colorblind because there's no actual blindness. And finally, the third sentence. There is, however, a fault in the development of either or both sets of retinal cones that perceive color in light and transmit that information to the optic nerve. One more time. There is, however, a fault in the development of either or both sets of retinal cones that perceive color in light and transmit that information to the optic nerve. There you have it, a quick lesson on color blindness. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I'd be more than happy to answer those for you. And let me know if you have experience being color blind. Who knows? You're probably one of those people that is. Anyway, talk to you guys again next week. Bye bye.